What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters theme video. This time talking about how to construct a team in Dragon Ball Fighters. Right away I do want to mention that this game is in its very early stages, so if you have three of your favorite characters in this game, you should go ahead and feel free to pick those three. Who knows, maybe you'll discover the future meta team. So because I'm making this video so early on in the game's lifespan, I can't really point out a character and say which category they fall in. But I can give you the general idea of what you want to look for, and hopefully you can take that and run with it. So without further ado, let's begin with your first character, or your point character. This is the character you're going to lead off the game with. Now I actually do have pretty good examples of some point characters in this game. Two really good ones being Cell and Android 18. You might see a lot of pro players playing these characters in the first slot, because they make good use out of their assist, and they can pull off some crazy block strings and combos with very minimal use of meter. That's something you want to keep in mind for point characters. They won't have a lot of meter, but they will have two very good assists to rely on. So keep that in mind. With having good assist in mind, we'll move on to the second slot, in which you want your middle character to have a good assist and just be an all-around great asset to the team. I would say a good middle in this game right now would probably be Super Saiyan Vegeta, because one, he brings a lot to the team in general, and he also offers one of the best assists in the game, being able to lock the opponent down on block, take up a good amount of space, and also allow for some crazy combo extensions that you wouldn't find anywhere else. Another character for this slot could be Yamcha, but he also might be an anchor character, which we'll get to later. But yeah, Yamcha is definitely somebody to keep in mind for this slot as well, if you're playing a more ground-based game. Just a little side note from the video, if anybody's interested in playing a more ground-based game, take a look at Hit and Yamcha. I haven't seen anybody play those two together, but I think they can make a pretty strong duo. Moving on to the third slot, you have your anchor. Now in general, this is the person that you want to finish off the match. So this person should be good on their own, and be able to tackle any sort of scenario without any use of assist. Of course, him benefiting from assists is just a bonus. So what you want to see in this is somebody that can make great use of meter. So maybe somebody like Ultimate Gohan, for example, that powers up with bars. I know people have been comparing him to Phoenix from Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but I personally don't know if his awakening is that strong, but if it turns out that it is, then yeah, he would be a great anchor. And maybe the Super Saiyan Blues would fit here as well, but I can't say for sure. This is definitely the one that needs the most time to develop. I do have a small clip of me playing Cell as a point character, with Vegeta in mid, and as an anchor I'm using Super Saiyan Goku. Keep in mind that I don't really play Cell or Vegeta that often, but this is a very basic Cell combo that I've seen online. As you can see, it has a lot of excellent corner carry, and it comes at the cost of one bar, which really isn't that bad. But I feel like I definitely could have gotten more off this if I was just a better Cell player. Okay, so now that we're wrapping up the video, I do want to mention that team composition really isn't an exact science. When you're playing in the match, you don't have to sit with your point character out until he dies and then get your mid in, and then after your mid you have your anchor. You should just let it flow. If you see a situation in which you need a DHC into, then you DHC. I think one important rule to keep in mind is that if you can kill a character with enough bar, then definitely spend that bar, even if it means DHCing into somebody else. Well that said, that's really all I can say for team composition this early on in the game's life. Maybe later on down the road I'll come back with a video describing where each character falls in these categories. But I don't see that happening for at least a little bit. With that said, I would love to hear about which teams you guys are playing right now and down in the comments. Me personally, I'm playing Super Saiyan God Goku, Krillin, and Tien. Though I don't really think that team's working out too well. And while you're down in the comments, if you like this video and channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.